hey guys so welcome back to my channel this is the first video of 2018 i hope that you guys had a fun and a safe new year and i'm praying for nothing but blessings and success and prosperity for you guys in 2018 today's tutorial is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial with people going on vacation and trying to escape this cold weather i thought it would be neat to bring you guys a cover up and swimsuit tutorial so if you guys want to see how I make this cover up and swimsuit, keep on watching. So guys, I hope that you have a pretty good view of my setup here. I just wanted to go over the things that you will need for this tutorial. So the first thing that I have here is my fabric. I have swimsuit fabric and then I also have some stretch lace fabric. This fabric, I have about one meter of fabric. This, I have three meters. You can get away with two meters, but it depends on how full you want your cover up to look. I want mine to have like really big sleeves and I want it to be oversized. So this is a stretch lace fabric. You guys can use stretch mesh, you can use a chiffon, anything that's lightweight that's not too heavy for the beach is what you could use. So the next thing that you guys are going to need is matching thread. This is thread that I'm going to use for my cover up. I also have yellow thread that I will use for my yellow swimsuit, okay? So matching thread. You'll need a pair of very sharp fabric scissors. A suggestion that I have for you guys is to label your fabric scissors. Do not touch fabric only. Another thing that you guys are going to need are some pins. The pins are used to put your pattern pieces down and you're going to hold your fabric together before you sew. The next thing to need is a stretch dress. It'll be very hard to show on camera, but this is basically just a basic stretch dress you can get from your closet. I'm going to be using a paper pattern and I'm going to show you guys how I use my blocks to make the paper pattern. Trace it off on my piece of paper. I know it's probably very hard to see. So I'm going to lift my paper. So that's what you should have traced out. Okay. Then I'm going to extend the side. My back pattern that I'm drawing out here. Okay, this is my back pattern. If you guys can see that, I should probably use a marker, but I don't want to make a mistake. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then you can actually use this same pattern to create the front as well. So you don't have to waste paper. Cut away the neckline and make it into kind of a deep V for my front. And I would cut out two pieces of that. And for the back, I would cut out one piece on the fold. And I will show you guys what I mean on um, fabric. Okay. So I'm actually going to take my scissors, my paper scissors and cut this out. Keep in mind, I totally forgot, you guys do need to add some seam allowance. So we would do about three eighths of an inch seam allowance around just because of the type of fabric. On a regular basis, I do half an inch. This is my mesh cover up fabric. I'm gonna use this and this is in half. I've folded it. I'm gonna take it, take my pattern piece and I'm gonna place it on the fold like that. And that would be my back pattern piece. Your front, you don't have to place it on the fold. You can place it in the middle like that because you want two pieces instead of one. So for your sleeve now, you're gonna trace out your sleeve. I'm going to cut trace out half of my sleeve. I have a full sleeve here, but I'm only gonna do half because I like to cut my sleeve on the fold. And then I'll show you how I get into the seam allowance stuff. So say I'm doing three eighths of an inch. I do that around and see your seam allowance there. Cut that out now. So this is my sleeve. So in total for this pattern, you're going to need six pieces. So you're going to have two sleeves, two fronts, and one back. And then you're also going to have a sash belt. So then if I were to show you again on fabric how you would lay your sleeve. So you're going to lay it in half and you're going to again lay it on the fold. And you're going to cut out two sleeves. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. I can show you guys, your sash is literally going to be a straight strip. 
of whatever your desired length you want it to be. So it has to obviously be more than your waist measurement. I don't normally do a pattern for this, the sash. There's no need. But this is what your sash is going to be, like a, like a strip. And this is what you're going to use to tie around your body. So now I'm going to explain to you guys how you would use your pre-existing dress from your closet to make this cover-up pattern. So what you guys would basically need is a roll, a crafting roll or pattern paper. You can get this from Michaels, very inexpensive. So you would lay your roll out and then from there you would put it on the folded edge. Exactly what I showed you guys in the quarter scale is what you would do with your dress in full scale. So you're going to trace off your dress body and then you're going to extend the side seam of it so that it kind of becomes flared dress and then you're going to trace off your sleeves on the fold like so so you can actually do this on the fabric but if you are a beginner i would suggest you putting this on paper first and then you can fix and show you how you lay out your fabric and how you use your your fitted dress to make your cover up okay so instead of using a paper pattern i'm showing you how you would lay your fitted dress to make your cut. sides together this fabric actually does not have a right side so you can put it together anywhere but some fabrics do have right and wrong sides And I just want to show you guys how I would sew in the sleeve. So you're going to match up the middle part of your sleeve and you're going to put it facing in and you sew it flat down. Some people sew up their side seams and then sew in their sleeve after, but I find it easier, especially with stretch fabric, you can get away with doing that. So it's starting to come together guys. So what I wanted to show you is this is what I meant by sewing in the sleeve flat. So before you actually close up your side seam, you're going to stitch in your sleeve. And then you would take these two underneath the arms and meet them. And then stitch from the sleeve um, hem all the way down to the bottom of the hem of the cover up. So it's coming together really nice. I feel like this tutorial is a very long one and I'm going to have to do a part two. I have big sleeves so if anybody was wondering about the big sleeves I didn't show it in the pattern drafting process but if you wanted the big sleeves you would literally add the flare just like how you would have done to the body so you add the flare to the sleeve okay so you can do it at both ends so and then the sash belt again is just literally just a strip of fabric you fold it in half and you stitch it down and then you turn it inside out and that's your sash okay